former unified lightweight champion, Vasily Lomachenko, is planning a comeback this summer. The opponent they're eyeing is Nakatani. Now, this would be Lomachenko's first fight coming back from the shoulder injury. Now, this fight with Nakatani can show us a lot of things. We can see if Lomachenko is 100% coming from that shoulder injury. We can also see if Lomachenko is still top of his game. Is he still in his prime? Because Nakatani is not an easy opponent. Just ask Tiafimo Lopez and Felix Verdejo, his recent victim. I guess that is a good opponent to test to see if his shoulder is 100%. I'll give props to Bob Arum if he could put this fight together. And I give props to Lomachenko for accepting this fight because this is not an easy fight to come back to. If you haven't seen Nakatani fight, he is no joke. He's knocked out Felix Verdejo in December and he took Tiafimo Lopez to a decision. Nakatani is very tall for the division, very tough competitor. The only loss he has, and that was against Tiafimo Lopez, and it gave Tiafimo Lopez a very tough fight. He's also a good puncher. I think this is gonna be a very decent fight. I think Loma got the fire in his belly again. He wants that rematch with Tiafimo Lopez. In order to get that done, he has to look good in 100% against Nakatani. And it looks like Lomachenko decided to stay at 135 instead of go down to 130. Give it another run and see what happens. I hope Bob Arum could put this fight together. I would not mind seeing Lomachenko and Nakatani in the summer. Mikey Garcia says if Manny Pacquiao is ready to return to the ring and he wants to fight a real fighter or he wants to reel the challenge, look no further than him. Mikey Garcia has been chasing Pacquiao for years. Personally, I think it's the money. Hopefully I'm wrong. Pacquiao's next fight is set. We just don't know who it is. He revealed earlier this week that he started training camp for his next fight. But he didn't say who the opponent is, but what he did say was it's gonna be a legacy fight. A couple of weeks ago, many people thought his next opponent would be Ryan Garcia. But since he brought up it being a legacy fight, those plans may have changed. Yeah, because they're talking about Ryan Garcia fighting Javier Fortuna and then fighting Tiafimo Lopez later on in the year. And Javante Davis, I don't know where he fits in, but that's another video. Before the pandemic, Mikey Garcia was one of the guys Manny Pacquiao was looking at. But at this point, when Manny Pacquiao said legacy, I don't think of Mikey Garcia as a legacy fight for Manny Pacquiao. Matter of fact, at this point in Mikey Garcia's career, a lot of people think Mikey Garcia is not serious about the sport anymore. He's just cashing out. Garcia has been training again. He's been in training camp for three or four weeks. He says if he can't get Pacquiao, why not Udonis Ugas? And Udonis Ugas got the WBA belt right now. Now, at this moment, it's a zero chance of Mikey Garcia getting a second fight with Earl Spence, which he said he wants to avenge his loss. But if, if some reason he could get Ugas in the ring before Errol Spence do a unification match with him, he wins that belt, he could use that belt for bait to get Errol Spence back in the ring. Anyway, the way I see it, the best way for Mikey Garcia is 140. I don't see him fighting Manny Pacquiao. I don't see him getting a fight with Errol Spence. But then again, stranger things have happened in boxing. So we'll see, maybe Manny Pacquiao have a change of heart. Anyway, leave your thoughts and comments below. JBZ, subscribe to the channel, I'm gone.